Worst part about, whatever goes up must come down, guys. Cool. G'day all, Craig Taylor, GBT. The bad boy's out again, the Baja board. <laughs> and we're gonna do some hot hill climbing today. We're gonna go through that gate and up that hill into the distance. I've had a bit of a walk up, it's pretty steep in sections, so we'll give the Baja a bit of a bit of a climb today and see how she travels. I'm pretty confident it'll do it. You know, with the history I've had so far with the last few weeks, I don't think it'll have a problem, but I'm gonna see how she goes and see how she travels and um, let's get to it. Okay all, just want to get in some detail before you get into this video, and that is one major, major thing. The bar board that I'm using is standard across the board. You don't get any major, major upgrades. No big battery, no big motors, no big ESC. It is the board with the 2x6358DC brushless motors, um, and also it's got the two 60 amp motor controllers. So it's not the big units, they're not the big controllers, and not the big motors. So what I've asked in this video for this board to do is pretty significant. So I wanna just highlight that I'm asking a lot of this board and I'm pushing it pretty hard. Just keep that in mind when you're watching the video because I was really pushing this thing and the motors did get warm and it's because I was pushing it past the boundaries of what the board was probably built for. When you're doing this sort of off-roading, use 10 inch wheels. The ground clearance is proportionally greater when you're using 10 inch wheels. I only had the 8 inch wheels available to me so I couldn't try out the 10 inch. The 10 inch would have been fantastic for a lot of the clearances, would have got the battery box off the dirt and off the rocks and the gravel a lot more and away from those tree, root, tree roots and some of the other videos you may have seen. I can flick it up here with one of them. Um, the 10 inch wheels will do so much more for you. So if you're gonna go off road and go extreme and a little bit silly like I've been in some of these videos, Get yourself a set of 10 inch. If you're just gonna hack around the road and just gonna jump up and down gutters and stuff, eight inch will do you fine and they'll, it'll be a rock star board for the rest of its life. Anyway, enjoy the video. Here we are, the Baja board. Climb on for a bit of a hill, or hill climb, shall I say. I wedge my foot in a little bit at the back. And um, let's see how she goes. Scroll it up, let's get this bad boy underway, shall we? Haven't been out for a week, been a bit lazy. The battery box is banging around a bit on some of the mess. Alright, so that's the first part of the hill done. I'm gonna give you a quick look up to see how that bad that was. So didn't doesn't feel like a lot. But as you can see, nice little incline. Just to get the party started a little bit, just to warm up. As I said I haven't been out for a week or so on the boards. Had a busy week and a lot of rain here. We're gonna get through some slippery stuff and some messy stuff, but we'll keep going and see how we track. And back on the board again, as you can see. Now get this motors loaded up and fire away. Oh, a little bit jerky. I've got 70 or 80% power on this so far, so I haven't given it 100%. I'm just gonna see how I go and A little bit bouncy, a little bit rocky. Oh. I put a new wheel on the front right and it is out of balance, something terrible. It's not pleasant, I'm going to ride this grass over these hills a bit. See if we've got any slippage, we haven't. It's a very foggy cold morning this morning all. It's not pleasant, it's freezing. That air is super cold. As you can see, I'm still climbing. Got lots of rut out. This is a fire trail for bushfires and stuff. They get in here to control the fires. I'm not going fast. I'm only doing 15, 20 k an hour at the moment. Let's see how the motor temp goes. I'm definitely not in economy mode now. He's definitely not saying that I'm in the green zone. Oh. 
There's lots of singer trails around here for mountain bikers. The luxury of this road is there's not going to be many people here driving vehicles or anything else. Bit of a steep section here, see so how we go. Gonna lean in a little bit. Oh, come on. Come on. Gotta get my weight in the right place. Oh, no problem at all. Gonna go around to the right here. Oh, bit of a steeper section here. Oh, a few rocks caught the rear swing arm. Oh. Alright, so I bogged in. Oh. All right, so my first, my first bog in. Oh, first lock into some gravelly stuff and it didn't want to go. So obviously it's going to get steeper from here on in. We'll go and check some temps, hey? Oh, motors are definitely, motors are definitely hot though. So at 80% it was, I just checked it, 80%. I'm putting a lot of pressure on this board right now to go up these hills, but as you can see, they're not, when I'm looking around here, they're pretty serious. We're gonna let it cool down for a while and we'll come back in just a little while and see how she goes, all right? So I'm just gonna give you a bit of an idea. Oh, sorry, I'm just gonna give you a bit of an idea. Someone said to me, how's your gradients, Craig? Well, have you been checking them? So at the top of this peak, I'm gonna give my phone a bit of a lay down, just to give you an idea. So as you can see, maybe I might be asking too much Maybe not. I'll walk you up here a little bit. Oh, walk you up here a little bit. So we're getting some hill sections and we're getting some flatter sections. So that was on one of the steeper sections. I haven't got my beanie on. It must look like an absolute crackhead or something like that. Anyway, so we'll turn you around. So this is on the more level section. I'll give you a hiss. So there it is there. So as you can see, just to give you an idea of where we're at. It's about 14.5 and whoop, and the other section that I was really working hard on, it was 33, 34 degrees, whatever it was, is that section there. So as you can see, between the hill sections, it's sort of leveling out 15, 16 degrees and then it's coming back up to 30 degrees. So it's, it has got some steep sections. I am probably pushing the board really hard. Um, but you got to test these things out so everyone knows what's going on. Baja board said they're good to about 30 degrees, I think. So I think it means 30 degrees on road, not in this stuff. So um, I can't be displeased. It's cracking along. It's doing what it's supposed to be doing. I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, I'm struggling for breath because it's freezing cold up here. It's taking the breath out of me. I'm probably a little unfit too. Those hamburgers again. Um, but I'll turn this off, get back to skating, and I'll see you on the other side. Hill starts are not easy. What you can do is find yourself, find yourself a good rock to wedge your wheel against. So you can start off, and that'll give you a little bit of traction as well, hopefully. Worst part about whatever goes up must come down, guys. Cool. That wasn't pleasant. Big rock just hit the battery box. I think this might need some 10 inch wheels just to give it a bit more of an easy trail. Oh, you can see the fire down here. Coming through, guys. Now we're going. Yeah. Oh, rocks. Come on, you. Oh. 
flat trails, yeah hey! And there we go. So, that's an uphill trail, and that's the Baja board. We had one decent stop, the old motors are, are cooked up a storm, and that's it, we're gonna give it a bit of a park for a few more minutes, and we might do a turnaround and go back and catch out the mountain bikers doing their run down the hill. Old school, mountain bikers. <laughs> Lots of single trails around here. That... Having fun, boys? Yeah. Just out for the day or just morning or? I think it might be, it might be bikes then, beer o'clock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you got a little bit more control than me probably, but that's all right. So you're going down from here or are you going? I'm going back. Oh, keep going up. Ah, cool. Warning. So that's the mountain bike trail down beside the fire trail that I just came up. Now I'm telling you what, the bunch of boys that just came up reckon that that climb we did is pretty monumental around here. So apparently it goes a bit flat a bit further up and then goes a little bit more of a climb and then unless you go to another track, that's probably the hardest trail around here. So the Baja board, Baja board has actually done really, really well. So I feel like I'm just got out of bed here. Um, I can't complain. I've had a cracker climbing up that hill and I've had some really good fun on the other side of it. Now I've got to go back down because what goes up must come down. So stick with me. We're going to go down the other side and I'll tell you how I go. You'll see it for yourself. But um, Baja board, it's pretty epic. Let's get back to the second part of this, which is what goes up must come down. Let's see if I've got this wrong. And if we go up, we'll go 100%. All right, so we're doing skids. So I had the minimum setting on the brakes. Glad I checked that now, then later, because that could have been really bad for, could have been really bad for all of us, yeah? <laughs> all right, back on the board. 100% braking, let's test this out. Uh, still not great, but it's a fairly substantial decline or hill we're going down, so. Oh, too much brakes. <laughs> I think this is gonna be a little bit of a, a touch and see sort of a scenario here. I'll wedge my foot into the front trucks a bit. I feel like I need to be one of those trucks going down one of those mountains with a fair bit of off runs and off shoots and stuff. And see, I came around down here to another road up there, which is kind of interesting. Oh, really test out these brakes today. Oh, yeah, check out your confidence to see how you're going. I've got rear wheel lock up already. Oh, you know the worst part about this? You climb up, it takes ages to climb up, and when you climb it going down, it takes but a minute. Ooh. Oh, got some serious lock-ups going on there. That's good to know that the rear wheels will lock if you need them to. Whoa, that was really squally. And my calves are just absolutely caning already. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I feel like I'm going full forward drive here. Oh, just gonna stop for a second. All right, here we go again. This is not a hill that you want to tackle lightly by any stretch. I'll tell you what, coming up was pretty interesting for this board. Going down's got me definitely nervous. Oh, all right. That next section into the next section. I am not accelerating here. I am just on and off the brake gently. 
allowing the board to roll where it can without staying on the brakes too much and although it's hard to stay off the brakes because it is really slippery Whoop. all right i'm off again let's give the brakes a go a bit of a, a bit of a break a bit of a break for brakes all right i am very aware that it's a bit messy and it's a bit silly so back on the gas a little bit hey that's all right no right. oh yep all right we're really puddling along here this hill is definitely the downhill part is definitely taken out of me this is not what i'm used to at all anymore on a motocross bike i would have just hammered this but my feet being not completely planted um, I don't know if you can see the fog is pretty serious so you can hardly see where we're going I'm really worried about the, the rear swing arm catching on something you see oh just like that because um, it's gonna just grab me and throw me off the front 10 inch wheels here would be ideal for the downhill because you got a little bit more clearance under the battery box um, 8 inches are probably a little uh, you're probably a little keen All right, this ain't so bad. There's just less rocks and stuff down this section. A little more grass and other stuff. So really watch for those big rocks though. Oh, a gentle a bit of a stand up and a bit of a rest. So I'm coming to the end of the really hilly part. And I'm just gonna come around the corner here and head down the last part of the trail. I'm gonna go all the way down to the, the bottom now. As you see, this is not so bad, and then there's a couple of bouncy bits, and then we come around the fence, and then it's into some big boulders and some messy stuff just for the last little piece. Oh. But this bit's a bit I'm nervous about because it is just all rocks. Oh, we hear that bottoming out of the battery box and the swing arms. It's the one bit you've got to worry about because you become a snow player. And there we go. Last little piece. Oh. Around to um, old Tubby as we call her. The Jeep. Whew. Well, that was pretty damn exciting. Pretty exhausting. My legs are rat you know what after such a short run the Baja board didn't let me down again and um, gotta say generally pretty pleased <laughs> I just went up and down the side of a hill or side of a mountain not really a mountain but the side of a hill some pretty st steep terrain and um, had a lot of fun doing it anyway hope you enjoyed it till next time Craig Taylor GPT out Oh, keep smiling. Uh, stay upright. Craig Taylor GBT out.